Hey YouTube, this is uh, really bizarre. I've heard of this happening before and now I've experienced it myself. You see that sword tail right there? The very large one that has a gonopodium just barely starting to develop a sword. Well that's one of the, that's probably the oldest offspring of my breeding pair. There's the female, there's the male. But uh, the offspring, up till now, was a female, or presented as one. And suddenly today, I see a gonopodium. And I stared at it, and I stared at it, thinking, what's going on here? Now, I've heard the, I've heard before the old wives' tale about how sword tails can change their sex. That's not true. Some of them are just later at developing than others. Um, she was, or he was the only survivor of his drop or brood or whatever you call a clutch of fish that get, that get born. And uh, saved it, grew up by itself, and then moved to this community tank and had appeared to be female the entire time. Shape of the body is even female. Um, this, her father, or supposed father, has, uh, been the dominant male in this tank for a long time, so I'm assuming there's lots of whatever the fish equivalent of testosterone is. For some reason, just, our little one here just didn't develop his, uh, outward male appearance. Now, the other little ones... And this one is set aside in the breeding net because it's gonna drop fry. Our other male, there's the other, there's the female. There he is. Pretty little guy. I love that little bit of vertical striping these guys have, along with the very dominant body stripe. But anyway, the they're the they're those are some of the survivors of the kill off of the notorious two and a half gallon tank. And um, he was the only male in there, so he developed at what I would think would be a more normal rate. But this one, just, I, I'd heard about this happening, about some of them ch almost changing sex later as they develop. And it's happened to me. Now you can see the beginnings of a sword there maybe. And we'll wait and see how much his body thins out to be more typical male shape. But he's large. He's very, very large. Uh, almost the size of his mother. Which is really bizarre. So, hey. Weird stuff happens, right? Other, other than that, tanks are doing well. Lost a couple of guppies. But I've got so many of them you hardly notice. Except they're the bigger ones. More on that later. Ta-ta for now. Like and subscribe.